Hello guys, I'm Shivani and I welcome you all in today's masterclass session. So before starting, let me play a small video for you guys. Humankind has already opened Pandora's box. From here on, there's no turning back, and the future we look forward to is digital, technological innovations in artificial intelligence, machine learning, cryptocurrency, NFT, and the metaverse are changing the world beyond imagination. Do you ever think about what the future entails and has in store for us? What kind of skill set would students need to survive and thrive in this rapidly changing world? The answer is money management and entrepreneurial skills that will equip students to overcome unknown challenges that may lie ahead. Most parents agree that their attitude towards learning finance is inadequate and they don't want their children to make the same mistake. Equipping ourselves with financial knowledge and entrepreneurship know-how is a must. Even the most basic knowledge like the 50-30-20 rule for financial planning and budgeting, and the time value of money would prove crucial when we want future stability for our kids. Financial education is a critical life skill that in the school education system gets overlooked. Also, parents often neglect the importance of such education for their children, especially when time and resources are limited. They would just make do with content found on social media platforms, making students uninterested. So how can our children be financially wise? Education 10x provides a solution. Educating the young money skills in their formative years provides many opportunities to practice and apply them in real life, thus making it perfect. Education 10x curriculum is designed by experts from the world's best financial institutions like Harvard, IIM Calcutta, and NYU. We have highly qualified and trained tutors and follow an international grade program that is super fun and interactive. It includes games, quizzes, in-session activities, case studies, projects and virtual simulations. So, what are you waiting for? Join our live one-to-one -one program now. Be future ready through financial literacy. Be 10x certified, now. So this was a small video. I believe after watching this video, you must have uh, received a slight idea of the kind of learning curriculum we offer at Education 10X. So to inform you, we have our presence in around 31 countries and five continents around the globe. And now let me take you through our program details. So some of you might have already enrolled in one of these programs. Those who have not, this is for their information. So we have three types of learning programs to offer you, beginner, foundation, and certification. So our entire curriculum is divided into 11 modules. Beginner course, which is a 30 live sessions, it covers the first four modules of the curriculum, which in which we'll be covering topics such as cash flow, asset and liabilities, budgeting, banking, prospect theory. The foundation course, which is a 60 live sessions, covers the first seven modules of the entire curriculum, and here we cover topics, along with the topics from the beginner course, we cover topics such as introduction to financial statements, investing instruments, FinTech, open banking, how businesses make money, likewise. The certification course, which is the 150 live sessions and the complete package which covers the entire 11 modules, it covers the topics from beginner foundation as well as such as basics of accounting, hands-on training on investment, modern money, how to build product, business models, entrepreneurial values, leadership skills, et cetera. So those of you who are interested in enrolling themselves in our uh, curriculum, in our program, please visit our website, education10x.com. So now, uh, without wasting much time, let me introduce to you the today's speaker, Mr. Lalit Pahuja, he has been part of our Education Tenix family for a very long period now. And he's a chartered accountant with a master's degree in commerce and economics. And he has a five plus years of experience in teaching. So he'll be taking the today's session on the topic metaverse and its impact on the financial world. So over to you, Lalit, now. Thank you, thank you, Shivani, for the introduction. I welcome you all for this masterclass. Uh, are you are excited? You know what's the topic, right? We are talking about, or we will talk about Meta first. 
so good evening everybody good afternoon uh, wherever you are uh, so are you all excited i can already see that more than 130 students that we have now so i am very excited to start this session if you give me thumbs up we'll start the session shall we great so let me share my screen i'll i'll start with the session uh you guys can see the screen great so uh with the introduction already given uh if you know about master class what master class is uh, in education tenx what we do we try to make sure that our students uh, are getting the best experience possible and uh, for that we create better future for our students by ensuring that they are prepared for a real world when it comes to anything related to finance and master class with the topic of metaverse is one such event where students got an opportunity to uh, listen and interact with each other with lots of students lots of young achievers like you and learn about latest trends in the world of finance right not only finance but it includes technology and entrepreneurship so uh, my my introduction has already been given by shivani but i'll introduce myself again my name is lalit pahuja i am a chartered accountant i am from mumbai india i have done my masters in commerce and economics i have been teaching in like i have 5 years of experience of teaching finance to kids so uh, we are here for learning something about metaverse and our le our learning objective here for today will be to understand the meaning of metaverse we'll see what it is we will explore various technologies which are involved in the metaverse and we will explore also the cases the examples of metaverse the use cases and we will see how we can start being in metaverse yes so do you want to be experience the metaverse today yes or no do you want to experience metaverse today yes so i'll tell you what we are going to cover today we are going to talk about introduction as i said we will talk about something called as ar and vr then we will see what is metanomics that is the uh, that is the concept that we will see today and at the end there is a surprise for you where we will see how we will experience how we can experience metaverse right great so are you ready for the story we'll start we will have fun activities in between towards the entire like over the entire session so it will not be boring session for you at all okay and we will, we are going to start with a story okay now just imagine when you meet with your friends and family you study when you do shopping how you do that you do all such activities in real world right yes yes or no you can use this chat box where i can see lot of people what a lot of students are answering yes yes i can see lot of answers great great so when we talk about a real world you can do everything yes that you do in your real world but not in real world so instead i tell you that you can do everything yes which you can already can do in real world but not in real world how it is possible so is there any other world we are talking about yes you can do almost all the things in virtually artificially created world so we are talking about something which is artificially created yes and that you can use that you can see with the help of headsets or glasses so you sitting at our in your room wearing those special glasses and if we all do that together it will look like this right exactly it will look like this yes yeah it's so so many students are already talking about it so i can see lot of answers yeah so we are entering into the world of metaverse so we are going to start with this topic okay let us understand what is metaverse yes so when we look at the meaning of metaverse what it is it's a virtual reality world yes what you can do in that users like all of us can interact 
can game and experience things right and that they would do in the real world so same as you do in the real world you can do that in virtually created artificial world yes and that world is a metaverse now when we talk about metaverse from where it comes from samajh mein nahi aa raha kya hai bhagwan kya kya hai koi chalo request everybody to mute yourself please yeah so sorry hmm yeah so we are talking about metaverse and when we talk about that the it's a combination of two words it is meta and it is verse when we talk about meta it comes from a greek word meaning beyond and we talk about universe it comes from the word universe so metaverse is actually when we talk about beyond universe so we are going to learn something which is beyond universe now let me tell you how it started right so it started with internet when internet came and it came with web 1.0 are you aware about what is 1.0 who can tell me what is web 1.0 yes i yeah it's a version 1 correct the first version of web exactly and it was there around 19 in the year 1989 2005 yes the first of its kind websites yeah so when you see those websites initially at that time though those were basic basic read only website you can only read yes and it was only visual that was used there yeah and people used to present their information and you can only access the information and see it i'll show you how it is if you have not seen any web.10 website these web pages are static they are not dynamic they will not change again and again if you upload some information there it will be stay there so those who write scripts or some outside process do not modify them so it is of a static nature fixed nature so these static nature is similar to text files which we which we upload on the computer it's just like that right and web 1.0 use these those frames and tables when they create a page so that was web 1.0 version 1 of website yes and when we talk about internet now it is limited to two dimensional only and there comes web 2.0 so through a phone or a computer when we see internet when we access internet it's in the two dimension yes it's a 2d screen that we see yes and when we access internet now it is so creative and you can even interact with people right the second version of that correct yes and we can be connected socially with each other we can like a page we can we can like a picture yes and we can comment and we do all this using applications yes and these are some of the websites which are used in web 2.0 so this is a dynamic participation by the users and all of us right twitter is one of them facebook.com and twitter in this user interaction can dynamically change the content on the website right yes so when we talk about web 1.0 and 2.0 it can be best recognized as the rise of social media so now we know we have twitter we have facebook we have instagram so we have lot of things facebook in particular shows all the characteristics of 2.0 yes it constantly update the information that you see yes or no yeah we are talking about mark zuckerberg's facebook yes so that information comes from user generated post and discussion we are the users and we post our pictures and we comment and we do lot of things socially so we involve socially like that and when we talk about the next version of web the web 3.0 the third version which came from 2016 onwards we engage in the internet and there comes metaverse and digital world so i hope you are understanding that like from a long time we were into web 1.0 2.0 and now we are moving towards we are already in 3.0 where we talk about 3d graphics 
Yes. Do you want to see how 3D graphics look like? Do you want to experience how 3D graphic look? Yes. I can see you are answering here. Okay. Now, when we talk about web 3.0, web 3.0, humans, see, I, I'll compare that with what we do. As a human, we memorize and we work with them through our intellect, right? We record memories and we work on them. Now, when we talk about web 3.0, it com the computers here not only store data, but also understand it. Who talks with Google? Who talks with Siri and Alexa? Like there are so many people who talks with Alexa. Yes, Siri and Google. Yeah, that is only because of machine understand your language. Yes, and respond it. So computers initially were essentially storing only data, but they're not really understanding. Yes, with 3.0 machines have become so powerful and powerful enough actually understanding what in their data banks. So whatever information that we have in their data banks, they can understand it. And that is only possible by another characteristic of 3.0, which is artificial intelligence. Have you heard about artificial intelligence before? Yes, no, AI, artificial intelligence, yes. So we are talking about 3D capabilities, the 3D capabilities of 3.0, which is the characteristic of 3.0 web. Yes. So you will see 3D landscapes. And when you go Google Maps, when you go to Google Maps or uh, when you see Google Streets, which we will do now, you'll see entire earth can be visible as in a 3D graph by Google. Yes or no? So that visualization, that 3D visualization can work with human input. So when we search any place or a location, we can see that data, we can see that picture and we can see interactive visual landscape, right? Do you want to see now? I'll, I'll uh, show you that we can actually go at a location. Wait, let me take you to at one of the location from Google Earth. Okay. Can you see the screen of Google Earth? I request everyone to switch on cameras and uh, lower their hands. I can see that. Yeah, tell me where you want to go. So there are so many places where we can actually experience 3D graphics. I cannot, uh, yeah, I can see a lot of answers now. Very good. Okay. Let's go in one of the mm -hmm. Yes, can you see this place? Now, if I want to move to this place, I can easily do that. Now, how is that possible? Yes. Can you see? I can move here. I can see the entire place. Sitting at one place, I can I can go to any other location of the world and I can do that using Google Earth. Isn't this interesting? Now, how is that possible? Can you tell me how Google Earth show you these 3D visual visualizations <clears throat> and can show you everything which is there on the earth? Yes. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, using satellite. Yeah. <laughs> it's a photo. Uh, they have this technology. No, it's a, not a VR. It's not even an augmented reality. We will talk about those technology here. So it's not. It's not like that. So they have created these photos uh, where they uh, they show you and they present in such a way that it is a panoramic view to you and you can experience what is there in that place. And that is done by Google. Okay. Have you ever watched a 3D movie? It's a 360 degree camera. Correct, Yusuf. Correct. 
I can see a lot of answers saying yes, yes. What exactly we see in 3D movie? How we experience 3D movie? So when you watch a 3D movie, you wouldn't be watching a, a film merely as a viewer. You would experience being in this film, right? So we started using some gadgets which help us to take into this virtual world. And this is the rise of, this was the rise of virtual reality with 3D glasses. Yes. So it feels so real that you actually experience what is there inside the movie. When you, when you wear those glasses, these are not the glasses, but which you can see on the screen. So those glasses help you to experience being in the virtual world. And there we started uh, having this technology of AR and VR. So we are going to talk about in detail. Are you enjoying the session? So we, we started with introducing metaverse. We try to under, understand how it started. And we started with web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. And we are moving towards something called as virtual reality. Yes. Now, if I ask you, what are the technologies used to create metaverse? Can you tell me that? Any, any idea what technologies we use to create metaverse? So there are various technologies. Exactly. AR and VR. So the first one is virtual reality. So this technology already exists today, but to use this, you have to wear those heavy, heavy headsets, right? So when we talk about VR, VR is something, a virtual reality where computer generated environment, it's, it's a computer generated environment where objects appear to be real. Yes. And as a user, you feel immersed in the surrounding. You'll feel that you are in the place you are at that place and you can perceive through through that VR headsets. I know they are too heavy as of now, but with new technologies, they would be uh, getting, keep getting smaller and slimmer. And eventually they would be a size of a normal glasses like this. So wearing it and taking it out would be too easy. Like it will be as easy as at a pair of glasses. Yes. So here we are talking about virtual reality. Yes. So when you watch a cricket match on television, how it is? Is it a virtual reality that you see when you, when you watch a cricket match on television? No, it's not. It's not virtual reality. It's two dimensional move. Something which is 2D. It is there in front of you and you can just see what it is on the screen. Yes. But what if I tell you that you can watch a cricket band or even you can play a cricket match in virtual reality. So technically, okay, let me show you a video and tell you how you will experience when you will watch a cricket in VR. Are you ready for it? Okay. I'll play this now. Yes, this was something when we watch a cricket in VR. Isn't so interesting? Yes. Now, when we talk about VR, we know that we are trying to improve our gaming experience too by making it somewhat 3D. So who all play 3D games? Anyone can tell me about 3D games? Nice that you tried 3D and VR things already very good minecraft is favorite of all yes roblox minecraft is the favorite of so many students hmm. so we are talking about something where you where you try to feel what is there inside the game right there are so many racing, racing games and sports games. There are so many simulators which are there in 3D. 
so since long time and, and let me tell you that this is not new we are trying to come up with 3d games from a very long time it's it's not something which we uh, which we are seeing it now so this was all about virtual reality and what what next which technology is used to create metaverse yes now the next is augmented reality have you heard about ar yes have you heard about ar very good so when we talk about ar what is ar it is as well as adding digital elements to the physical world experience ar through a mobile right now yes and there are so many applications and games where you can experience what is there in the ar that is the ar technology so we know that there are snapchat filters there is this game called pokemon go so it would mean that some artificial elements mixed with our real world it wouldn't be complete virtual reality but it will be as good as something is there digitally when you see in the real world pokemon everybody is talking about pokemon the excellent example of it is pokemon go smartphone game which we have so on it what we exactly do you can use the smartphone to look at the real world around you yes so when you look at through your smartphone like that yes you can see the artificial pokemons there in it and it it seems like they are mixed with in the real world around you yes how many you have played pokemon go i can i can know that there are a lot of students who have already played no okay cool cool so the next thing is google glasses so there was a time in around 2013 and 14 where google introduced this google glasses and these glasses with which you can add virtual elements in the real world. so this google lens provide which is uh, like through the objects around you by the device camera so the, the glasses used to have that small tiny camera on the right hand side and it eliminates the need to continually continuously hold a cell phone in your hand so you can put a glasses and you will be able to see what is there outside like around you digitally so it allows you to access the phone virtually with the help of voice commands and gestures so this hands free operation makes the mobile phone seem almost real and it is it is possible only with the technology which is ar the augmented reality right do like how many of you watch cricket how many of you watch cricket have you seen any pitch summary so we saw this we see this video where they play the cricket and on the ground there are so many graphics which can come and i'll i'll show this video and you will feel that way see there are so many graphics which is there and this is only possible with the ar technology so when they do these analysis in cricket they try to analyze things what's happening whether it is a, a it is a short ball or a long one oh how much is the distance of hitting that six see when someone hits a six you can actually see where the ball is going and this is only possible with the technology called as ar right okay moving on so this was all about ar in vr so this pitch summary that you that you used to trace the ball length whether it is short long or the distance in the direction of the boundaries are also represented with the help of those lines and marks yes but they actually seem real because the digital augmentation is overlaid using that ar technology yes now you tell me what else we need in metaverse do we need something else in metaverse or only ar and vr no we need lot of other things too we need infrastructure 
yes do we not need internet the 5g technology so apart from all that that we saw till now 5g technology in metaverse is, is also talked about and if we uh, if we are to create a huge virtual world we need to constantly upload the data we need to download a huge amount of data and for that we need extremely high internet speed and for that we need 5g technology yes so this is one of it and what else what else we need other than technology uh, the 5g technology ai ai we already talked about 5g yes coding <laughs> yeah we need coding we need coders for that we need blockchain and cryptocurrency yes so when we talk about the entire virtual world when money would be used to buy anything metaverse that can't be real money of course yes now we use real money to buy lot of things on the internet yes because everything is digital and so there will there will be a need in metaverse to have something called as digital currency and this is where cryptocurrency comes into play so now because there is there is a large number of transaction constantly happening they need to be kept secure you agree and there yeah. would be a threat of hackers which can be uh, there online so uh, there can be a chances of data breach maybe a hacker to to keep that secure blockchain might be used so it's totally full proof it's hack proof and totally secured so uh, the last time we had this master class it was all about blockchain and cryptocurrency and we will have these uh, we will have such classes which talks about blockchain and cryptocurrency metaverse and what not and we will continue to do that i know there might be lot of students who might have already attended that uh, session and you might be already knowing what is blockchain and cryptocurrency i i know that those students who are already there with us they know what is uh, what is cryptocurrency yes and if i tell you that what if what if you stay inside what if you stay inside and spend time in virtual world are you ready to do that yes you want you has a doubt i am so sorry i couldn't see we will have a doubt session at the end maybe or do you have something which i can say what is blockchain so we are not uh, like going in detail about blockchain but blockchain is a technology which is created using blocks it's totally secure and uh, uh, it is used to store data which is totally secure and blockchain technology is used to create something called as cryptocurrency so we will talk about blockchains in detail in some class don't worry yes. it's a, no. it's the only technology that is used in yes so if i tell you what if you stay inside and spend some time in virtual world what will you do inside the virtual world tell me yes exactly there are a lot of students who is answering what is uh, what is blockchain yeah if someone tries to modify some information they will kicked out from the system that is what the blockchain is so no one can tamper with the data no one can modify the data that is what it is yes so you will hang out you will play games that's what you will do in metaverse have you already done that in the in the virtual world have you spent anything spend spend some time in virtual world have you done that what if i tell you yes you have spent your money in in the virtual world those who play games they know that there are in game stores yes there are in game stores where you can buy coins so uh, we use our real money to buy coins in games i hope you can relate to this right so when you play games you buy lot of things you upgrade upgrade your uh, level of your game using the, these coins so what we are actually doing we are using finance in virtual world yes now what we are talking about are we talking about having finance in metaverse or what metaverse in finance yes which brings to my next topic which is metanomics 
So metonomics is actually a combination of meta and economics. So it's a, it's a combination of metaverse and economics. Yeah, those who don't play uh, games online might not be aware of this thing. But yeah, there are a lot of people who spend money virtually in games. Yes. All are ready to go to the next topic that we have. Any doubt that you have for the last two uh, things that we did? We talked about what is metaverse. Then we talked about what is AR and VR. We also saw uh, Google Earth where we can experience different locations where, where we can see what it is on, the, on that location, right? Yes. Are you ready to learn what is metonomics? Okay, cool. So when we talk about metonomics, what is, what is metonomics? It's the evolution of digital economy. Yes, it's an evolution of digital economy that we already have now. And we are talking about metonomics, which is which will be the economy of the metaverse. So we have this one economy where we stay, and there would be another economy of metaverse altogether, separate. And that is what is known as metonomics. So you will see a lot of consumers, a lot of consumers like us, they use digital platforms. They use digital platforms to trade non-physical digital assets. They are not physical, but they are digital assets. I'll tell you what it is. I'll give you examples. Okay. So we are talking about something which is there digitally. So in metonomics, to understand metonomics, you need to understand what is there in the physical economy, right? So there are three types of economy, physical economy, digital economy, and virtual digital economy. So uh, if, if I give you one example, in the physical economy, trading happens with the, with the exchange of physical assets, right? In person that we do, which is furthered by the digital economy that we have, where physical assets are traded, but through digital platforms. Yes. So you can buy something from Amazon that is digital economy. Now, when we talk about metonomics, Consumers use digital platforms to trade non-physical digital assets, not real assets. And if I give you three examples, same examples in physical economy, we can buy any, any, any property from anyone. If we have a land, we can buy that land. Yes. Using real money. When we talk about digital economy, we can make purchase using digital platforms. So we can buy that land online through any digital portal. It can be a website, it can be an app. Yes, but here we are talking about next thing, which is virtual digital economy, where we will buy the land, virtual land on the internet, and we will develop and maintain. Imagine you buying a land virtually not physically, you're buying a land virtually using digital money. Yeah, you can, no, you can actually do that. I'll, I'll show you and we will experience that today. Don't worry. And let me tell you, there are 2.5 billion people who are interacting through their phones, through their laptops, through their desktop and VR headsets, all in the virtual environment. They are living and trading money online. They are already doing that. Yes. Any doubts till now? Okay. I'm, I'm reading a chat for two minutes uh, or for a minute. Let me uh, see what it is. No. Okay. Yeah, we will, we will share the same. So we are talking about virtual digital economy. Okay, I'll explain that again. What is virtual digital economy? When I tell you that we buy any property or we buy any land, we do that in physical world. We see the land and we do that with the real money. That is physical economy, right? And when we, when we talk about digital economy, we buy the land, the same real land using digital platform. Yes, through the website through the app. And when we talk about virtual digital economy, we buy virtual land, not the real one, not the physical one, but the virtual land on the internet. 
to develop and maintain i'll tell you the point of buying virtual land okay now when we talk about this virtual world it includes what it includes assets it includes marketplaces it includes traders so these metaverse assets metaverse marketplaces and traders are there inside metaverse and that engage across a variety of online platforms that have recently emerged alongside virtual digital economy so so uh, so what what we are discussing we are saying that there is someone there are virtual assets virtual marketplaces and virtual traders already there inside metaverse even now and who all are creating the metaverse who is creating those assets who's creating those marketplaces and who's who's all the uh, where are the traders that we see which is better we are not comparing like which one is better we will eventually see which world is better you tell me which world is better digital world or physical world hmm both yeah correct both are better both are good enough to be in it how it's upon it depends upon how you use yes very good you can do anything yeah so we are talking about people or we are talking about organizations who are actually in the metaverse and creating these elements and those platforms are these there is these are new platforms which include popular names like open sea sir what are these sandbox. yeah tell me arush was telling something sir what are these these are the platforms you, where you can actually go and see the metaverse they are the one who are creating the metaverse oh. okay so we have open sea we have sandbox we have upland and decentraland they are already creating metaverse so not only them let me tell you not only them there are existing technology powerhouses also in the space of metaverse and those are in the industry of social networks they are into gaming companies they are gaming companies and they are into streaming platforms already and the activity taking place on these platforms uh they actually trade virtual assets within the virtual environment using monetary value real monetary value so you can actually see that they are trading assets like that and everything is a part of metaonomics so through this activity on the metaverse people are actually earning and spending real money on virtual commodities tanvi is asking what is physical economy the the thing when you buy a chocolate that is physical economy you pay with real money and you take a chocolate physically that is physical economy tanvi yes that is simple what are nfts i'll tell you what are nfts here we are talking about metaverse and metaonomics so we are combining metaverse with finance yes and when we say people earn money and spend real money on virtual commodities is it is it sustainable like that do you think people in future will do that you are the future i am asking you because you are the future you tell me you will when you will be there will you be there in the metaverse or will you actually buy any asset we have to do we have to buy the machine machine as in yeah you have to actually buy the headset to be to experience what is there in the metaverse so i'm so sir can't we experience it using google like websites yes yes we can do that i'll i'll show you at the end we have the surprise thing where we experience what is metaverse so there we will see how we can experience metaverse but there is one company which is bloomberg uh, they are financial they they actually provide research and analytics and they have shared those numbers and you uh, the news and they say that metaverse will be and maybe 800 billion market which is the next big platform that we will have 800 billion dollar market imagine 800 dollar billion market 
that is a lot right if you see the global video game market how much any guesses how much will be the video game market in the world anyone if it, if someone can unmute and tell me global video game market it's 200 billion dollar global video game market is only 200 billion dollar and we are talking about 800 billion if we are talking about global film industry that is about 120 billion dollar market but metaverse we are expecting that it will be 800 billion dollar market so you see lot of people will be there in the metaverse and lot of people will invest and actually be there inside that so you'll see lot of content creators developers users like us who will work inside metaverse right and to tell you who is actually doing it you know elon musk and jeff bezos they are working on something which is outside the earth they are they are working on something uh, outer space they are creating new opportunities in the outer space but there is one company the founder name is mark zuckerberg has its sight set on a different space of the earth which is metaverse so why so many people are talking about metaverse now because of the interest in the metaverse spiked after this company called facebook announced in october 2021 that is they are rebranding themselves its name the facebook name to meta it was a rebranding by facebook and they said it reflects its focus on the virtual world and this company now which is meta is creating these metaverse elements in the virtual world right do you want to actually see what facebook is doing tell me how many people want to actually see what facebook is doing in the virtual world Hmm. Oh, everybody! Can you raise a hand? Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see what Facebook is actually creating in the metaverse. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just knock? can you please confirm if you can hear the video or uh, the audio of that video when i started you were able to uh, hear it yes okay cool 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 i got the answer let's continue let's focus we have a quiz competition at the end and you have to win lots of amazon vouchers so top 5 students top 5 students will actually as an opportunity to have amazon vouchers okay you can win and you have to focus throughout the class look out this monster in a semi real semi virtual world and just moments after you could explore such impressive ancient places facebook promises that you will be able to do just that in 5 to 10 years in its so called metaverse whether this is just another ploy to get money off you and if it's technical possible at all is what we'll be explaining now dancing at a live concert virtually or digitally meeting friends who live on the other side of the world at a party and perhaps just casually meeting up with Justin Bieber and joining him for a drink wouldn't that be awesome these are all facebook's visions for a metaverse that is supposed to grow step by step how serious facebook takes this all can be seen by its recent change of name into meta It's all a bit Ready Player One, The Matrix, or Star Trek Holodeck. In the next five to ten years, Mark Zuckerberg wants to establish this as part of the mainstream. It's a very ambitious goal. So far, virtual reality is mostly used by gamers and geeks, and only those that can afford it. You'll probably know some of the precursors to metaverse: the online platform Second Life, where you can live a whole other life. to Pokemon Go which was a huge hit a couple of years ago and which also received an augmented reality mode upgrade 
to the PlayStation 4 VR game Dreams, which allows players to do anything from minigames to creating virtual art. But Facebook slash Meta wants to go even further. So far all there is are nice computer animations for advertising, but the company isn't starting from scratch. In 2014 it took over the VR goggles producer Oculus. And just recently the augmented reality goggles Ray-Ban Stories were released. Meta is currently working on new AR goggles with the codename Project Nazare. There's already the Virtual World Horizon. It consists of Horizon Home, a virtual living room that lets you invite online friends. It also includes Horizon Workrooms, a VR surrounding for business meetings. However, it's not very refined yet and has received a lot of negative online reviews. Likewise, other companies are also looking into the possibility of creating a type of metaverse, like NVIDIA, with its real-time simulator Omniverse, which lets graphic designers work together virtually. Or the online games platform Roblox, which lets users create their own computer games to play with others. The video game developer Epic Games is also working on its own metaverse idea in order to combine its mega-hit Fortnite with other franchise universes like Marvel. So much for the plans to create a type of metaverse. And yes, it all looks great. But how is it supposed to work technically? Mark Zuckerberg has not said a word on how much data his new prestige project is going to consume. Chip manufacturer Qualcomm expects a live virtual reality surrounding to need around 200 megabytes per second. This would be almost impossible with a 4G internet connection that often has download speeds around 30 megabytes per second. Instead, you'd need the latest mobile communication standard 5G, but it will take some time until this network has been fully developed across the globe. And speaking of computing power, today even the most powerful stationary computers will be unable to cope with these apps. You will definitely need brand new and expensive VR or AR goggles in order to experience this. And then there's the issue of Meta's very own motivation for coming up with this whole idea. One part of the presentation in particular made us think twice. We're also building a Horizon Marketplace where creators can sell and share 3D digital items. And our hope... How was the video? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could... Yeah. So we saw what Facebook's metaverse looked like, right? Now, can we expect something in the future will come by Facebook? And there are so many other companies, not only one, right? There are so many other companies who are coming up with this. Yes. And this metonomous, uh, like this metaverse economy is currently under construction. There are a lot more companies who are working on it. There are so many companies who are ramping up their efforts in building and footfall and, and having something in metaverse space and they are rushing to grab a virtual land has already been begun. There are some companies who has virtual land. In recent months, the global brands like, like in, in big, uh, big tech, banking, fashion, retail, they are entertainment companies such as Microsoft, Google, JP Morgan, HSBC, there is Walmart, there is Nike, there is Adidas, there is Skechers, Disney. They have rushed to enter into the metaverse. Yes, and for that example, we have someone like JP Morgan, who is the first bank to enter into the world of metaverse. And they actually have the shop in metaverse, which you can actually visit virtually. So there is this bank of uh, JP Morgan, they launched Onyx Launch, which is a virtually launch in blockchain based world of decentral land. So we know that decentral land is one platform where we can actually see what's there inside metaverse. And that is done by JP Morgan. And there is this HSBC bank who followed the step and bought virtual land in the sandbox to enter into the metaverse. So if you remember, we talked about sandbox and decentral land initially, right? So those are the platforms which are there inside metaverse. 
who which can help you to experience what is there in the metaverse they are marketplaces right so now what we have covered till now we have so seen what is there in the metaverse we saw what we require we require ar and vr we need 5g technology yes we need blockchain we need cryptocurrency and we understood what is metanomics so when we combined metaverse and in with economics we get metanomics and there it is very important to understand first the basics of finance and even the technology which is called as metaverse right so for that we have a quiz so we have two things which is left now one is the quiz that we have to do and the other one is the best thing which we will do at the end which is experiencing metaverse right okay who all are ready for the quiz now before we start the quiz do you have any questions i will take 2 minutes to take your questions and then we will do the quiz okay till then what i'll do uh, i'll share a form with you it's a google form and i want you to fill that form wait so if you see now i have posted a google form you have to fill that google form before uh, we do the quiz because we need to identify the winners so who are attending so those who are attending have to first form the fill, uh, have to fill the form uh, and make sure that you when you when you do the fill the form whatever name that you write remember that and write the same name while you do the quiz okay so after we will have your name we will match that while you fill a form and we will have your contact numbers and email ids that should be correct because we have to communicate to you the price okay so i i'll give you 2 minutes to quickly fill the form and then i'll i'll share the quiz link with you okay or uh, i'll also request anyone who have doubts can unmute and tell me the doubts others i'll request to you to fill the form quickly all done done with the google form very good very good great very good anaya okay okay now i am sharing the quiz link are you ready for the quiz Okay, I'll I'll wait for a minute. Quickly fill the Google form, or if you want, I can share the link again. I hope all uh, of you got that Google form link. I otherwise will not be able to trace you. If you win the quiz, we will not be able to trace you. So what I'll do, I'll Uh, I'll share the Google Form link again. Those who haven't got uh, might look for that link. Okay, I'll share that again. Yeah. So I can see Ajay is uh, Ajay is enjoying with his VR glasses. Ajay, you are wearing your VR glasses, <laughs> or it's just a filter. <laughs> so see, you are using this AR thing. you are using filters yeah that's that's there nice so you have nice glasses using ar <laughs> okay yeah so i can see so many people raising hands any doubts tanvi sanav vani uh, aryan any doubts Shreya, Priyanshu, or or you're saying that you are done. That is the reason you're you're raising your hand. 
ओके इनाया डन डन ओके आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू म्यूट योर सेल्फ प्लीज Okay. Now I am sharing the quiz link. Now don't spam any answers in the chat. I'll keep the chat off. I know a lot of your know, students you spam all the answers in the chat box. So for that, okay. I'm sharing a quiz link. Go on for the quiz. and be ready to win amazon vouchers go for that come on oh great let me see how many people are joining the quiz very good yes richman you're saying something okay please write your name carefully so that we can identify the top 5 students who will win amazon vouchers still a lot of people are uh, yeah i'm waiting so that all people join and i will start then said mohammad very nice 3d glasses <laughs> quick quick fast fast oh i can see 100 people have already joined any issue that you are facing to join a quiz or you already there shreya you are there in the quiz or you have some issue yeah tell me shreya you can unmute yourself and tell me you your mic is on mute shreya okay shall we start link is not opening i can see more than 100 people have joined or maybe because of the internet it is you are not able to open vani agarwal yes aryan yes aryan tell me okay i'll start okay yeah 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 okay let's do it Okay, I'll share the link again. Don't worry. You can still join earlier. i can see some very good performance very good aadi rishika sarthak salay vini rishika
Rumi, very good. Inaya. Gautam, Gautam is, Gautam was already, uh, I, I have seen Gautam in the last masterclass too, winning prizes. Very good, Gautam. R.K. Sriyesh. Yashvi, very good. Nice. Inaya and Gautam is on the top now. Come on guys, let's see who will win. Aryan, have you done already? No, so it's not opening, what happened? Or you're still doing it? Yes, Aryan, are you done? No, okay, still doing it. Okay, okay. Yes, Ajay, you have some doubt, Ajay? Okay. If you guys would have such on cameras, I, I'll be able to see you, your pretty faces, but so many people have switched off cameras. I can still see people playing quiz. Please complete so that we can see who all our top five. Oh. I can see new participants coming up suddenly in top five. Very good. Done. Very good. Those are still not done. Please do it. We have to experience metaverse also. So that is also waiting. So you don't have to leave immediately after the quiz. We will announce the winners and we are going to experience metaverse. So wait for it. So I can see all done. Very good. No, no, no. There are so many people pending. Okay, do it. Firas is saying you will got a you'll get a voucher. Let's see, Firas, whether you're getting a voucher or not. Yes, Sajay, what happened? You can still run, try Abdullah, go for it. Aryan, you can still win. Don't worry. Oh. 
Okay, no problem. I just need all of you people finish the quiz. That's it. You have to do only once. I can see that the players are going on increasing. Are you doing it twice or thrice? Don't do that. Do it only once. I can see the number of players and players are increasing. The people here are lesser than the people who are playing. So, you, so that means you're sharing this link to so many other of your friends. No, it, it will be considered as cheating. Don't do that. But they will not come in top five, obviously. Mama, you're recording this. Sorry. Someone asking something? You don't have to leave anywhere. We are going to experience metaverse. So that is something which we have at the end. Now in, in two minutes, I'll, uh, I'll announce the winners and I'll show through my screen. Saya Vatsa, nine year olds. <coughs> I think Ayani was 16 years old. Yeah. You have only one minute left. Okay, we are done. Yes, I can see the people have already done. Yes, I, I'll end now. We are almost done. Let's see who are top five. Yeah, okay. Let me share the screen. And I request the winners to uh, come on the camera. Can you see the screen? So we have top five. So we have Imar, Lipi, Hetvi, Abhimanyu, and Rumi. Can you see the top five? So we'll consider this top five Imar, Lipi, Hetvi, Abhimanyu, and Rumi. You guys are here. Congratulations. You have been given Amazon vouchers from us. Can you unmute yourself, all the winners? So I'll request Imar also to uh, share some feedback and then we'll quickly do an experience metaverse. May I request Imar to come please to unmute and... Are you there Imar? Hi. Or leap. Yes. Hi. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not able to. Hello, teacher. Yes. May I know your name? What? Hi, hi. May I know your name? Uh, I'm Aymar Muhammad Hegel. Are you okay? 
So I request the winners to please unmute and tell your feedback, please. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. What? I am listening. Please tell me. Oh, okay. Hey, Tui, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you did you like the class? How was the experience? Yes, sir. It was uh, a very informational class, and I learned a lot. Okay, now you know about metaverse. Yes. Congratulations! You have won the Amazon voucher also. Thank you, sir. Bye, teacher. Yeah. Hello. Bye, teacher. Yes, Angus. Yeah. Uh, can we have Abhimanyu Tyagi? Yes, sir. Abhimanyu. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you have won a prize in this quiz, and you are fourth. So congratulations! You have been given Amazon voucher. So can you share your feedback, please? Well, uh, sir, it was good, and uh, the concepts were uh, good, and there was no doubt Bye, at all. Bye, Very good. Thank you. So you learned a lot today. Do you want to learn some more few yes, things? Sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Excuse me, so sir. You, yes, Arush. So, sir, the class will continue for how many days? No, this class is the only one class that we have. The master class is done. So, we have one thing to do. Will we will do now. So, sir, and we will have more master class. Yes. We will have more master class, and you'll get an email and information about it. Uh, okay. Question. Yeah, please tell me. So, sir, we will have master classes on weekly basis or monthly basis. No, no, it will be. Uh, you will be. Um, yeah, you will get an information. It will be there on Sundays, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we will start with experiencing metaverse now. Any anyone have any doubt? Or I'll share the screen and I'll quickly start. So we have less time, so we'll do that quickly. So uh, we are entering into this something which is called as decentral land. So I told you there is this platform which is creating metaverse, right? So I'll share the link now where you will go and enter into the world of metaverse. Okay, with me, you will do it with me. Yeah, this is this link, decentralland.org. So you have to go to that link. So it will take some time. You go to that link and first do do this. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll tell you all the steps and it will be very easy for you to navigate through the website. So the website called as decentralland.org. What you need to do, if you, can you see this uh, button here which says get started? So you have to go there and click. Once you will be there inside, step two will be to play as a guest. What you need to do, you have to play as a guest. So you have to select play as a guest. Yes. And then step three will be to randomize your avatar. So you, you will be uh, asked which avatar you want. So don't create your avatar because that will take some time. Okay. So you can pick any random avatar as of now, then you may explore, you can explore after the class. Okay. So you have to click this button on the right hand side, which says randomize. This will be step three. Once you do that, then the next step will be to write your name and have your name for your avatar. Yes, please tell me. Sir, it is only available for desktop. No, it's not. It's a website. Yeah. So if you're using phone, it might be difficult. No, sir. Sir, it is not opening in phone. Yeah, it will. So it will be difficult to open that in a phone. If you have desktop or maybe a laptop or a, even an iPad or any tablet, that will be more suitable. So that this website might be compatible. Sir, what's the name of the websites? Sorry. Please, what's the name of the websites? 
uh, the name of the website is decentral and i have posted something on in the chat box the link so is please, already maybe there send it again is not here okay i'll do I that find. i'll do that okay. again don't worry okay so you post the link here yeah the, so the link is there in the chat box decentralland.org Did you receive the? We just press the link. I have posted the link in the chat box again now. Just now. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please tell me. Is the all of the prizes having a prize? Oh, you won a prize. I'm not able to hear you. Sir, will all of the quizzes Here have a price? Website, no, no, it not is all. Download Decentraland. I'm in the metaverse. I can randomize my character now. Yeah, you should download, not. You don't have How much money you got? I'll tell you, sir. Gonna... Can you sir. give us steps again? Yes, sir. I'll share the steps again. Wait. Oh, How much money you got? Sir. Yes. Sir. Listen. Listen. Sir, I, sir, I gave gifts to play. Sir, I gave gifts to your email. Just going download. No, you don't download have to download. 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 And then you have to play as a guest. Me. Sir. So you might sir. be going to share my screen. Sir. No, you don't have to share your screen. Sir. Wait, I'm not able to sir, hear it. So step two download. will be playing as a guest. You don't have to download anything. If you are not like able to do that, wait. If you're not able to do that, try after oh, so I'll share my screen. You will experience like there with my screen. So wait for some yeah. time. Sir, will I, I sir, will I just want to play in your browser, and will I get explore on web? It will be only in the explorer. Yes, I'm going explore. So third step will be randomize your avatar. Then you have to name the avatar, and then you have to scroll down and select I agree. Okay. Now I'll share my screen and I'll show you what's there inside. And we will all be there at one place. So I'll tell you which place to go for. So we will meet in the metaverse now. Yes. Sorry, it is loading. It will take time, dear. It will take time. as well. See, what I'm saying is, if it is taking time because the website is too heavy, if it is taking time, wait for it. Yes? I'll share my screen. You will be able to experience Metaverse through my screen. Okay? Now, I have given all my steps. You have to just get started. You have to play as a guest. You have to randomize your avatar. You will be able to do that. Then you have to wait for it. If you are not able to access now, it's okay. You you have the link. Remember decentralland.org. You can do that after some point. Okay. After the class, you can do that. Because already your internet is consuming a lot of bandwidth because you are in the class. So it's already taking a lot of time because of that. So don't worry. Now I'll share my screen. You will be able to see what we will do inside that. Okay. When you will be in that uh, website. See, I I'm sharing my screen now. Now you might be able to see this screen. Okay. Yeah. Now here on the left hand side, can you see the map? Can you 
see something called as mv gallery here if you open a map on the left hand side there will be a place called mv gallery can you see this place you have to go to mv gallery and press jump in you have to select this button you have to press this button called as jump in and there i'll be waiting for you so i'll see someone who is around me there so you have to go to mv gallery so on the left hand side there will be a map you'll find a place called mv gallery now i'm here with a blue t-shirt i'm waiting for someone to join oh i can see so many people coming here yeah okay see i can see four people there inside every gallery also if you see on the left hand side there will be a button to chat so even we can chat with ourselves hi there how are you hi see there is someone uh, yeah there is bhavishya here see we are at one place inside metaverse i can even meet people here in the metaverse see being even on the internet and zoom we are here in the metaverse together this is what metaverse is so in simple words it's a virtual artificially created world where we can meet socially together in this virtual world right if you see on the left hand side there are buttons so you can dance if you want to dance you can do that can you see my screen if you are not able to access anything on your device please see my screen aharshi you can see my screen don't worry you can start later yeah yusuf wait i I'll, i'll tell you where to join how to join so there is this website called as decentralland.org go to google i have already explained how it is so i can see lot of people who are with me here so there is on the left hand side there will be a map i'll show you where there is a map on the left hand side there will be a green color map like this and there will be a place called mv gallery so you have to go select mv gallery and you have to jump in inside the place so many participants are there in that place with me phone will not be able to manage this website so it will not be com uh, compatible with that and you are not required to give your gmail id tanvi tanvi you are not required i saw your message you don't have to give your email id you just have to select play as a guest it's a heavy website it consume lot of internet so that is the reason it is slow you can even dance you can roam around there are places which are owned by many companies see there is this train also where you can roam there are concerts happening there are events happening inside that when you when you see this map there will be there are lot of places where you can explore and visit can you see this map on my page if you explore click on explore here there will be events so you can even join the events you can play games with someone else click on explore and you will see events which are happening around the place inside decentraland you can select any place which is there in decentraland you can even join events which are going now can you see my screen there are a lot of options when you go to map you'll see lot of options and you can explore a lot of it click on explore 
and any 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 map any place that you want there are so many museum art galleries jump in welcome area place i'm going there see already there are participants and going around you can join each other and go to some place and enjoy i'll see a, a art gallery there was a very good art gallery here also you can buy uh, the art inside that so there was a place with virtual currency you can actually buy there are places which are owned by companies here okay see this science art museum i'm going there if you're not able to experience or uh, do this in your mobile phone or any of your device please see my screen it will take some time to start see where i am i am in this science art museum and you can see me here can someone join me in science art museum you can search you can go to map and search for science art museum s c i a r t museum see i leave you here there are so many things which you can explore and enjoy being in metaverse i hope you have learned a lot today this was just a glimpse of what will be there in metaverse and what is there inside metaverse see uh, uh, yeah i can see so many people who are already there inside with me here read what happened i hope you enjoyed the class we learned about metaverse we learned what is ar and vr yes and we saw how finance and metaverse are related we have entire economy inside metaverse which is this the central land is one of them yeah now if you have anything uh, let me know if you have any questions i am ready to take it it will take lot of time reet that's what i said it will take some time but you will be able to do that once you do it after the class you will be able to do that don't worry any doubts is anyone who can give a feedback on how was the class we are done with the class now you can explore i leave it to you we have lot more topics to cover in metaverse and we will do that once you enroll with us there are so many things that we have to do uh, i'll i'll i leave it here to explore many things in metaverse and we will have the session soon again and i'll see you on the other side thank you so much fatima inaya noora i can see someone who is with me uh, in this decent land thank you thank you fatima yusuf vedansh thank you so much thank you bhavesha ashwarya thank you and 
yeah thank you so much anoila thank you alant thank you so much great enjoy metaverse thank you ani thanks sachin <laughs> uh, you can still unmute yourself i'm still here for a minute <laughs> yeah yeah hiran i'll be there in metaverse for some time yes iruri yes you have to learn more about it and we have so many classes with us where you can learn lot of things of metaverse <clears throat> unmute oh okay so sorry so yeah i'll unmute you don't worry wait Yeah. So that is a couple of I I went as I went as guest then. Okay. I randomized my character then I gave my name. Okay. Bye bye, bye sir. He does not agree. Bye. Yeah, you have to agree. There are there are terms of down. service and mm -hmm. the privacy policy acceptance of terms and uh, the agree button isn't. Working and after I gave only my name, it was not working. I gave my email. Still, it's not working. No, you have. You don't have to give your email. I'll tell you what you have to do. When you have this page, uh, I'll share you the full screen. If you are on this page where you can see terms of service and agreement, you have to scroll down a little bit. Then that I agree button will be enabled, and you have to select that. So you have to scroll down, and you have to elect uh, select I agree. So you'll see this red I button. I can't leave that and a program. Yeah, yeah, sure. Bye. Bye. So you have to select this I agree, and then you will be inside the metaverse like this. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, when is our next class? Uh, this is the master class. We will have the next topic, which will be next Sunday. Maybe you will be announced. Like information will be okay. shared with you. Yes, Vedant. I hope you enjoyed, Vedant. Thank you, sir. Bye. Sir. Yes. Sir, I am pressing on. I agree. It is enabled, but it's not working. Uh, because of the internet, it might get. Uh, it might take too much time. So you have to wait for some time. And when when you will leave the class, stay for some time. You will be there inside. Don't worry. It will take some okay, time. Sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I have purchased two items in this metaverse. Seriously. <laughs> What have you purchased inside Metaverse? Sir, two shoes. See, oh, great! So you're already into uh, having cryptocurrency and being in this Metaverse. Nice. Uh, I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. Uh, how cryptocurrency is invented? Huh? Is invented. We had this class last time where we learned what is there, like how to create and get cryptocurrency. So we will again have that class. And if you want to know, we have the like at length we have the entire course which includes to uh, like the topic which includes cryptocurrency. So we will learn a lot of it in the when once you enroll with us. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Is it there we could create your own like shop in the metaverse and trade 3D assets? Yeah, you can. You can, but for that you have. Uh, you need digital money, which is cryptocurrency. Ah, uh, okay. Sir. Yes, tell me. So that is it is loading right now. It will take some time, dear. That's what I said. It's too heavy. So when we will, when you are done with the class, close this class and you stay there for some time. If not, refresh it. It will get open. So are you in the metaverse? Are you going to be in the metaverse for this one? No, I'm not. I'm out of it now. Like I have closed just now. Okay. 
okay so we are done with the class i'll see you once you and uh, once you're there with us uh, i i hope to see you i hope you enjoy the class thank you for your lovely presence and patient listening thank you so much bye 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 sir thank bye bye thank you so much thank you thank, thank you sir bye bye sir bye sir thank you sir bye, bye thank sir. you thank you sir bye sir bye sir bye sir bye, bye. 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 bye.